Let me uh, jump to a slightly different topic, but using the same model. And I'm gonna, again, hide the map background, zoom to the extents. Now I wanna talk a little bit about signal optimization. So as I mentioned earlier, micro simulation is the core uh, of transmodeler. So even when we talk about signal optimization, transmodeler is going to use the micro simulation as the engine for producing the performance measures by which alternative plans are judged. Those alternative plans being different combinations of splits and cycle lengths uh, and offsets for a, a particular corridor. So we'll do this analysis with the corridors toolbar in Transmodeler, which we can use to select uh, one end of a signalized corridor and the other. The Transmodeler will pick up the signalized intersections in between those points. So here we're gonna tell Transmodeler uh, what range of cycle lengths we wish to analyze. So let's say we're interested in cycle lengths between 90 and 150. And similar to other signal optimization tools, we'll use a set of performance measures to describe how good or bad a, a plan is. So a plan will be scored based on a linear combination of those performance measures. So basically a performance index is computed from these different measures multiplied by these coefficients. What's novel about the signal optimization in Transmodeler is the quality of the coordination is described by uh, a performance measure called arrivals on green, which is derived from the Purdue coordination diagram, which some of you may be familiar with. The Purdue coordination diagram basically uses high resolution signal event data and detector data to determine in controllers in the field, what percentage of traffic arrives at the at, at an upstream detector during the green uh, phase. And the higher that percentage is naturally, the better the progression is likely to be. So Transmodeler will perform the same measurement. It will record signal event data, including start of green, end of green for each phase. And it will also record the, the detector actuation so that it can analyze percentage of arrivals on green. So I'm gonna start this up and describe what, what Transmodeler does when it's running this optimization. It's basically leveraging modern desktop or laptop computer hardware. If you've got multiple uh, computing cores on your CPU, it will launch a separate micro simulation engine on each one of those to run different alternative cycle lengths and sets of offsets in parallel. And the transmodeler will window that we're working in will coordinate the different effectively experiments um, and the results of each of those experiments and keep track of what set of cycle lengths and offsets perform the best on those uh, performance index measures, the arrivals on green, Q lengths, delays, et cetera. Um, so number of stops uh, can be used as one of those measures and can be used as a proxy for uh, vehicle emissions if that's a target. Q lengths naturally would be uh, a, a measure that would help you to mitigate impacts on side streets and so on. So as the optimization runs, you'll have some statistics about what's happening uh, for each cycle length, what's the best performing plan and what's the performance index for that plan, which performs best across all those cycle lengths, how many micro simulations have been run to arrive at the current uh, set of results. So we've run 15 simulations already so far, um, which have reported back their performance. So that's a quick, and when this is finished, it will give you the option of saving the, sig the optimal signal timings or to choose to save timing plans from any one of the cycle lengths if you have some that are uh, perform similarly, but you prefer one cycle length over another, for example. <laughs> 